Most people understand that open source software is software copied for free. What's less understood is how the potential chaos of all these copies can be transformed into a collaborative whole. Let's break down how open source works using a family cookie recipe as a metaphor we can all relate to. Just like code, all recipes start by somebody writing the original version. In this case, Grandma May has developed a delicious cookie recipe. She shares it with her family, telling them they can use her recipe as long as they follow her rules. In Grandma May's case, anyone who bakes cookies with her recipe has to credit her as the author. And if they make changes to her recipe, she has to be allowed to use those changes in future versions of the recipe. The same thing happens when someone writes and publishes an original version of open source software. They put rules called licenses in place so that others can use and change the code they've written as long as they follow the author's license. Grandma May's recipe provides her family with a place to start that they can customize to their own liking. Aunt Maria decided to add chocolate chips to her batch of cookies. In software, this departure from the original code is called a branch. Aunt Maria's change was such a great success with everyone who tasted the cookies that she asked Grandma May to add chocolate chips to her original recipe. At this point, Grandma May needs to begin acting as a maintainer, looking after the integrity of the original recipe and deciding which changes she will incorporate. In this case, Grandma May agreed that the chocolate chips were a good addition, and so from then on Grandma May's recipe included chocolate chips. Aunt Maria is now a contributor because she has contributed something to the recipe. In open source software development, this process of incorporating a change or patch into the original code is called upstreaming because it's flowing back to the original source. If the original brand of chocolate chips becomes unavailable, Grandma May is responsible for updating the upstream chocolate chip patch with a new brand because she accepted the patch. The benefits of incorporating your changes into the original recipe are pretty amazing, leading to the popular open source motto, upstream early and often. The sooner you upstream, the sooner the community can back you up, not only by maintaining the recipe, but also by testing it in as many configurations as there are community members using it. Uncle Miles went out on a limb and added peanut butter and nuts to his batch of cookies. His wife and friends all love peanut butter, so they thought his additions greatly improved the original recipe. But when Uncle Miles tried to upstream his nutty changes, Grandma May, who detests peanut butter, refused to add peanut butter and nuts to her recipe. Uncle Miles resolved to move on with his version of the recipe with no plans of merging the two again at any point. In open source software development, a permanent split like this is called a fork. Grandma May's recipe is getting better all the time, as people continue to contribute. Her family gets to learn from and enjoy the latest and newest cookie recipes as they are created. As Grandma May's family grows and her recipe is shared outside the family, more and more people will become contributors. As you can imagine, things could get pretty complicated for Grandma May as the maintainer of the original recipe with more contributors. The same is true for open source software. More contributors and more versions of code make it essential that we have a way of collaborating on changes. This is why we need the structure, common language, and roles we just talked about with our recipe example. Now let's recap really quickly. Someone writes an original version of the open source software. They set rules around how it can be used and changed called licenses. This gives contributors a starting point to then branch out from and make changes or patches. Some request their changes to be upstreamed to merge their new version with the original version. If the maintainer decides to incorporate the change, it becomes part of the main branch and will be maintained by the community even if the contributor stops being involved in the project. Sometimes, software is taken in a direction that we know will not be incorporated back into the original version. This kind of permanent split is called a fork. Open source has the potential to be complicated because it's created by communities of people. 
but these ways of working manage those communities, making it possible to benefit from new versions from an authoritative source, the maintainer. Actual products based on open source can be made up of dozens, even hundreds of recipes like Grandma May's, which is why having a disciplined way of managing change is so important. In open source, the possibilities are endless, but we need the rules and roles to keep things organized.